Hello, this is uh, Dr. Thompson Ntuba Aqua, Certified Expert in Global Health USA. COVID-19 updates the state of Texas, the nation of the United States. Governor Greg Abbott of Texas, Governor Greg Abbott of Texas has released new executive orders speaking and the city of Lubbock in the state of Texas has ordered reopening of Texas businesses to full or 100% capacity. Governor Abbott made it very clear that Texas has been winning the governor's cup since he became governor. And Lubbock has been one of the states where the, the governor's cup initiatives or projects have been happening. Abbott enumerated the effects of COVID-19 on businesses in the state of Texas in the past one year. And he talked about the 50%, the 75% capacity of businesses opening and the effect on the economy. He said that Texas, in terms of economic output and success, if it were an independent country of its own like it used to be before it entered the Union, it would be the ninth biggest economy in the world, just a state in the United States. And Abbott talked about how COVID has affected Texas. And that as the chief executive officer, as the chief executive officer in the city of Texas, in the state of Texas, he has he's ordering the reopening of businesses to 100% capacity of a complete opening of the state businesses as of Wednesday, that is 10 days as of today, or one week. That is, starting Wednesday next week, the state of Texas will be open, will be open for business 100%. Governor Abbott gave a number of indices and criteria which motivated the state's decision to open to that level. He talked about vaccinations and the millions of vaccinations which have been done in the state and with the coming of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, which is a single dose vaccine and that is stored within normal refrigeration temperatures. There is the ramping up of vaccination. The putting in place of mega vaccination centers that will help get the state to some form of massive vaccination that may go a long way to secure the herd immunity that is needed. He talked about therapeutics, the antibody therapies which are in place, the know-how of the personnel and the different hospital systems in the more than 250 counties that make up the state of Texas. He talked about the, the measures which are in place. All of those, as Abbott says, the know-how of the personnel, the successes of the hospital systems, walked towards the decision he has taken. He also cautioned that there should be personal responsibilities in all the cities, in all the states of Texas. Abbott made it clear that if 15% of COVID hospitalized, or, or if 15% of hospital, hospitalization in the Hospital regions of Texas 
are COVID cases, the counties can put in place mitigating measures in order to help bring down that number. So it's not like the executive order sign have been irresponsibly done. Provisions have been made to make sure that they are mitigating strategies and measures put in place that empowers the county judges in Texas to bring in measures that will help. That notwithstanding, there are many, there are many county judges that are already speaking against the above decision. Judge Lena Hildago of Harris County says that it's a distraction from the failures of the electricity grid in Texas. Mayor Sylvester Turner of Houston is unhappy. 